Uh, the kids in the other class had a question about number five. And five is a marvelous problem. Doesn't it say, given an unlimited supply of one ohm resistors, how could you get, and a six volt power supply, how could you get four volts? Isn't that the question? Yeah? Do you know the real answer to that? I mean, there is a science-based answer like this, okay? But the real answer to that is that you go to, again, go to Radio Shack, and you say, Dear Sir or Madam, I am willing to give you an unlimited number of one ohm resistors if you would please trade me straight across for a four volt power supply. That would work, wouldn't it? No. Somewhat better. Anyway, I think the answer that they want is that we set up a circuit like this. Right, here's our six volts. This is one ohm. This is one ohm. This is one ohm. And the voltage drops, the sum of the voltage drops across these adds up to six. Yes? Doesn't it? Okay. And so um, then that means each one must have a drop of two. And so if we put the voltmeter like this, aren't we going to read four volts? Yeah? Unless you can't solve a series circuit, and then it's, I don't know, right? Okay. But there we have it, right? Okay. This is called, by the way, a voltage divider. And the trick about voltage dividers is that, remember that voltmeters don't draw much current because they have a resistance of infinity, yeah? Right? As soon as you draw a current, from this. In other words, let's say we put a lamp there, or something like that, that's a four volt lamp. Here's the catch. As soon as current starts flowing through this, this little thing there, doesn't this whole part here have less resistance than two ohms? Because you have a resistor in parallel to it, so therefore it's less, right? And so therefore, doesn't the voltage then drop? Yeah? Now, have you ever noticed in your house, if you, especially if you've got an older house, or sometimes you plug the, the vacuum cleaner in and you turn it on, have you ever noticed that the lights sometimes dim or flicker when the light when the, the yeah. vacuum cleaner turns on? That's what's going on is that you're plugging in and suddenly you're drawing more current and so you've got the resistance of all the wires leading up to it. It might not be much, but the voltage drop on all the wires leading to that part of the circuit increases. And so the voltage will drop where you are, right? And we had our house, um, our old, old house uh, uh, was had such bad wiring the, the lights would like would like noticeably dim and stay dim the whole time the vacuum cleaner was on, and that's because it was like 1920s. Electricity was this new thing, and people wouldn't need much electricity, and so they they ran the electricity from here to the top of the living room to the to the the, the um, wall outlet here. Then they ran it to the top of the bathroom, down to the wall outlet in the bathroom, then to the wall outlet in the living room. It was all daisy chained together. And, and uh, it went through the bedrooms, and by the time you got to the last bedroom, it had gone through all of these little twisted wire connections, all of which weren't perfect, and, and uh, it was at the end of a very long wire. And, uh, yeah, anyway. There it is. <laughs>